hi in this tutorial I'm going to let you know regarding com a complete new feature a new topic and that's called sheet metal so for that let us open a new part okay and uh, here as you know I have already opened the sheet metal one you can find features sketch based features surfaces sheet metal evaluate now how do you get this just right click here or right click anywhere and in this options you'll find many things out of which these are the sheet metals click here and click here you won't find anything yeah now again you want it right click and sheet metal so when you come to sheet metal there are some options which are activated and there are some which are not so first of all what is sheet metal and why it is used sheet metal are generally used where you need to make some boxes and inside those boxes some electronic assemblies are fitted for example the CPU the CPU the outer box is made of sheet metal and inside you keep your electronic circuits motherboards etc yeah and not only CPU there are many things the oscilloscopes the educational kits and many things or the plastic parts so such kind of things are folded and you make some kind of folds in the material itself and then you use it and it contains some air vents so the air can flow out from that part many things so that are all sheet metal work so the industry of sheet metal is completely different and the SOLIDWORKS provides these all features with the sheet metal so generally apart from solids and surfaces this is the one more topic or as in case of solid works it's one more tool which has been added in this section and as the latest version increases more, there are more number of tools which are also increasing so let us start with the front plane normal yeah here I'll make something I'll sketch something so this is a normal line which I made and here if you remember if you want to use solids then what you need to do you need to close this line to make it a rectangle and then you can use for the features extrude yeah in case of solids but in case of surfaces what you do is you can directly extrude this surface similarly with sheet metal you can directly extrude this thing but when you extrude this thing the name for the extrusion is different here in case is extruded surface here it is extruded boss base and in sheet metal it is base French tab so just click it and select the line look now I can start extruding how far I want to extrude this much this much this much is it okay this much okay and here you can make it blind or from the mid plane or as you wish and there are some of the options which you find that's alright this is I want it till here somewhere that's okay so this the base flange is ready very easily very quickly no need to do anything after making this base flange let us say I want to do something else so for that I want to make a circle over here so I click this section yeah and then I'll start sketching a circle now where I want to make a circle is this is a midpoint which it shows here somewhere I draw a circle how much you want mm, I want this big or oh, this big that's okay yeah this is done okay 
and now I want to extrude cut it so this is my option extrude cut as you know and then just make it okay don't understand very hard because this is already what I taught you so this is circle this is really a circle it shows some linings over here because of my graphics card is poor but it's a circle yeah and after making this circle now let's say what I want to do I want to do a new option and keep in mind the new option is actually um, is actually what you say is not very easy and not very difficult but you need to concentrate so sheet metal and the new option is milter milter flange yeah the name itself is very dangerous milter flange and what this option does you need to know understand very deeply and how it works so before telling you what it does I will just show you and you understand yourself and then I will explain okay so in milter flange just click on the milter flange yeah after clicking this I will select a face let us select this edge like this after selecting this it will show a plane when you zoom out yeah it shows a plane automatically just move your mouse over here somewhere now it shows a plane now I want to draw something on this plane so what I will draw is I will I can draw from here or here anywhere but I want to draw something from this end any end will work let us I'll draw from this end so for that what I'll do is make it this top or oh, this one yeah this is good good enough and uh, I'll start drawing on this thing so for that just again I will check that's alright again we'll start drawing something I will select a line and then I want to select arc so after selecting the line I will select from this point I'll make something make a line and from here I will make this is my uh, three point arc but I, will, I won't use that I will use my tangent arc I never taught you about the I told you about three point arc but this is my tangent arc which is actually very good click on the tangent arc and then other than making a three points here you can make one point and two point and done okay like this and here again I will make my line and my line will be from here to here somewhere back look as soon as I did back the milter flange was applied over here which means this edge which I made was applied and then you can find a S shape thing so when I clicked on that curve which means what I made here this this thing from here it turned now if you don't understand I will zoom out what I did is look I'll show you first of all I will delete this thing yeah this was my plane which I selected okay I selected this plane and below this plane or you can also call on the top of the plane I made something I made a cow the cow started from this point this end to this end as soon as the cow was made what I did is I went to military flange and then on this box along edges I click this thing which means go to this and here you need to select <laughs> you need to select it once you select it it will extrude itself towards the bottom so in this case I will do control Z 
or else I'll make it okay. No edges are suitable, edges are selected. That's okay. If I select a plane, I'll make it okay first. I'll cancel it. Okay, I cancel it. Now I click outside. Just zoom and see whether everything is okay because this line should touch this point. That is very important. If it doesn't touch us, then a flange will not be created. Okay, so this is proper because this is black and this is blue. That's fine. Okay, now I will go to sheet metal and melt flange. Look, this is automatically selected and this is done. Look now what you need to do there are three things do you know these three options what are these look definitely this was uh, selected and now in sheet metal options what happens is everything on the edges these are called the vertices and these are the edges on edges will find fold or will there be some kind of fold or some kind of curvatures automatically a specified radius is available so, and you can definitely increase or decrease this radius but there will always be a default radiation there will be no sharp edges anywhere in the sheet metal work okay so this is what you call is French positions so the French position starts from for example I will tell the difference look it changes when you click here it changes it was here so here which means as you can see in this logo itself this is the s or this is l kind of shape and there's a dotted line outside the l so here this is the l kind of shape yeah this is the l kind of shape and for example this is the dotted line which passes from the outside so because of why the, the shape is like this this is the L shape and this is the dotted line when you click here which means the dotted line is inside which means this friend will come outside click here look now the dotted line is on the same place but the flange is coming outside look where the dotted line is the L shape kind of structure is outside and dotted line is inside this is the dotted line on the same place but flange is outside in this case the dotted line was outside the flange was inside look it depends on how you want to select your flange this is the flange and in third case dotted line is very far away from the flange look the dotted line this is the dotted line for example a virtual dotted line which is far away from the flange so some people who want this kind of structure they can select this flange some this and some this so in our example I will select this flange for now it's okay for me okay now there is one more option called this thing you select this flange it's propagate when you select propagate which means it pro propagates up till here up till here which means there is one flange vertical it propagates to horizontal just left click and it selects the edge and how much it propagates till the end well that's okay and this width will be the height so width and height will remain the same and so this when you again click here it comes back there is no propagation on horizontal now we want propagation so I click here but what you can find in the center in, in when both the flanges are intersecting when you zoom in yes you can see some kind of fold over here look there is some kind of fold there is a gap over here uh, look there is a gap over here when you come upwards nothing is touching each other because of the gap but it looks cool yeah it really looks cool so now milter flange is okay so do you know what is a melter flange like <coughs> it produces as kind of I mean the melter flange means here in this case when you draw a curve yeah it joins the vertical it makes a vertical and horizontal flange and it adjusts the distance between both of them and look there is no intersection over here nothing because of the sheet metal work and that is why it solid works very helps us in making sheet metal parts very easily and to assume how a sheet metal will fold itself 
yeah so this is the not the normal flange because normal flange are always straight this is melter flange so which means some kind of curvatures can be made easily so this is about melter flange and now I want to hide this plane yeah now my plane is hidden and after which what I want to do is let us select features and here I will want to mirror something this is again an interesting option let us say I want to mirror this feature melter flange feature way here but now what I will do is for that what you need to do you need to make an axis and then from the axis you can make but let us say I want to mirror the whole body this is my whole body complete body I want to mirror so in this case I will select this as my plane so select this this is my plane and here I will select bodies to mirror not features to mirror not faces to mirror because I don't want to mirror a face nor I want to mirror some kind of particular feature I want to mirror the whole body and where is my whole body this is my whole body if I don't get whole body where I can make get my whole body from here somewhere solid body but that's alright for now because now I can see the preview and in preview this is reflected plus this are uh, things are reflected so just make it okay in mirror mirror is done cool both the sides yeah so now when this is done now what else uh, I need to do let us select sheet metal and a new option in sheet metal which will be edge flange click when you click edge flange now what you need to do is you need to select the edge look I'm selecting when I select as soon as I select and I zoom out automatically I don't need to do anything nor I need to hold anything when I move my mouse it comes over here it comes over whether you want to close this thing you want to close the box it depends upon you I want to open the box anything so I want to make an edge flange like this up till here yeah yes I made it now I will see how far I made how I made and again you get two options over here this is one option like how your edge flange is moving and this is another option There's something two different options that's alright but since I made this I make it okay look I made it okay and then it's very simple I just clicked and it is giving me some radius some curvatures and uh, just with a click of line so I in this case in sheet metal I don't need to do anything whereas in case of solids if I wanted to do this then I need to select a square then I need to extrude and then I need to select some curvatures and then again extrude I need to make this profile extrude and join it so many things were there in solid but in case of sheet metal just with a click of line automatically this is done so this is one thing now the option edge fl flange is done now again I want to do something in edge flange when you go mm, let us select the here here you find many options here you can find the option offset so how the option offset works yeah which means when you click offset look this was the when I moved my mouse it was with X and now it works with Y if you want to offset it this option if you don't want to offset just click it it goes down which means the y will be zero only there will be a direct radius uh, but I don't want offset right now because I want this required length that's enough so for now I don't want it but now if you concentrate here look it goes down here again dotted line is over here it was here before now it is here again if I click here this is like this so that's all right I want this option only so that is one thing other option is edit flange profile this is again a very different option and some kind of uh, where people don't generally I don't find people using this option but yes it's a good option now definitely I turned it this way but I don't want it complete from end to end definitely I select a line because I selected a line the fold was everywhere but I don't want to select the line I want to select only a few portion of it so for that edit flange profile and you click here 
and again uh, when you click here somewhere look this was my line which I did I will move back and just zoom out and again I will see a black line click here and just zoom out now can you see again uh, I want it backwards somewhere here now I will zoom in a little bit and see that's alright I wanted it here somewhere only so uh, this is uh, how I moved my linings and then finish once you do finish you can see can you see how this was made it is cool isn't it yes it is cool so this was the option edge flinch now uh, I want option sketch bend sketched bend on this surface this surface so here what I need to do I need to draw a line on this surface anyway yeah and back okay it shows some errors now band parameters in sketch band click here okay now it shows arrow so what is a sketch band for example I did a I did my drawing and uh, I want to fold from here on this end this is my end and I want to fold from this end so I can use directly a option called in sheet metal as I shown you now just now edge flinch so when you want to make a curvature or a profile from here this edge so that is why it is edge flinch okay but let us say this is my complete area my according to my calculation for example this is 50 so I want my complete sheet metal to be 50 and then I can do anything then I can play with it so initially I selected my uh, my uh, prof uh, my length to be 50 maximum and then it depends upon me from where I need to fold so for folding it I use the option sketch pen in sketch pen I just need to draw a line so now what I'll do when I make it okay from this point it will bend and it goes up as you if you want to see I make it okay so can you see now which means my overall length 50 was adjusted still it is 50 yeah still it is 50 and this is a curvature because my uh, sketch was a bit like if I redo it sorry if I edit feature and here this is my profile profile line and I just need to close it and if I see my sketch I edit my sketch and here this is not straight if I try to make it straight like this okay and back look now the fold is almost proper that's okay so this is how my fold works again in sketch band also when you go to edit features you'll find the same kind of uh, options like what kind of band do you want and that that are the options so this is how I bended my profile and now say I want to do something else mm, I want to work with the options called mm, fold and unfold so I folded this I folded this I folded this now say I want to unfold it so click on the option unfold and this is the fixed phase this will be the fixed phase okay so it won't this is have, this is having no fold or unfold and bends to unfold but it is asking me bends to unfold I will select I want to unfold this select this I don't want this delete I want to unfold this just make it okay look now this is open you can open the profile you can close the profile it depends upon you but 
it depends upon your application like what we are doing and what you want to do so here why I unfold is I want to draw something so I will make a top view first and in the top view I will draw a sketch or rectangle and rectangle on this face so the rectangle will be say like this I'm drawing it yeah and okay and after drawing click outside and I'll select this line control in line with this line so it should be collinear yeah this is collinear and then I'll make it okay now why I did a rectangle because I want to extrude cut it now see clearly when I extrude cut it yeah this is done now see how my part looks this is how my part looks and again if I want to unfold it in sheet metal I can do it this was unfolding now I'll fold it fold now this will be the fixed face and uh, I can select this add bends to fold this thing or I can select collect all bands because in collect all bands what it does is it will select all the bands and then it unfold it but my all the bands are already folded this is folded this is folded everything is folded so when you click collect all bands it will only select millet milter band which is this is the milter band because everything is full only one is remaining so in collect all bands directly you no need to search anything you no need to go anywhere and find and know whether it turns yellow or orange or not and direct collect all bands milter band it comes and then fold when you fold it look this extruded cut still remains the same and you get this thing many a times you need this thing because if you want your in the assembly if you want to put a switch over here you want to put a LED light over your microphone or somewhere in the assembly box then yes this is necessary such kind of cuts and folds are necessary so this was uh, one thing and now let's say in this flange I want to do something I want to make a flange from here so edge flange directly and this line again okay, shows bottom up I want up when I move it up over here somewhere up till here click I made it up and now you can see look how the edge flange looks again there are options look this is the option this is the option this is the option which looks good you tell me when I select this one does it looks good this is a zoom out zoom to fit no it doesn't look but it directly goes inside and uh, it creates a complicated uh, geometry and this is sometimes impractical so to make it practical click here yes this is practical but again the problem is it doesn't look good because this is more outside this is less outside so when you click here both are equal aesthetically this is the best and practically this is the best according to me so this is what I selected over here edge friend but uh, when I make it ok yeah so it looks good but in real terms I don't want it this way yeah this looks good when you zoom in yeah it looks good but I, in real terms I don't want this I want this to be at an angle so here edge flange edit feature and then this is my angle so let us see make it less and I want it up till here yeah and the height should be say up till here somewhere when I make it the side view mm, I want height up till there that's okay for me and uh, I'm not editing the edge profile over here because I want this thing to be complete and this is my default radius yeah when I unclick here it shows what kind of radius I want to use so here if I increase my radius so what kind of radius is increased so my radius I can change this is 3 let us say this is 5 so this radius is changing let us say this is 10 look 
this radius is changing and how it is looking yeah this radius so that's okay if the radius are changing well it depends how your part is and how you want to fold it because look what was the radius and what is the radius now that's okay many a times you need such radiuses so this is how your edge flange is working now what you see this doesn't look good sometimes in many cases if this is the thing and when I want to close this thing how will you close this thing many a times it happens in sheet metal so I need to use the corners when I click on the corners close corner will close the corner so this is very easy option when you want to close it just select one face and automatically second face is also selected and now look how the corners are closing itself uh, this radius is very big and there is a reason why this goes straight and this is also extended from one end the curvatures are not extended keep in mind when you select corners the curvatures are never extended only the flat faces this is a flat face and this is a flat face they are extending look now how you want to extend it it depends upon you again there are three types this is the first type when you extend it both the faces are touching each other but you will find a L kind of shape over here 90 degree shape over here which is actually it actually doesn't look good when you click over here this face increases this face goes inside as you can see here and same with this when you click here this face increases this goes inside yeah like this so according to me what looks good is not this because this is some up down this looks good because this is the biggest face this is the smallest one that's okay and uh, let's say this is my corner and this is the corner type I did and now I'll make it okay and look how it looks when you zoom in here there will be a hole definitely but really you can't do anything with this hole but it looks great and here look how it closes itself now even if you I go to this edit flange and edit feature if I make it less this is 50 let's say I make it 48 not this one this is my this thing I make it bit less yeah 89 85 91 this is 91 if I make it okay and look now this goes below so again I edit French I think 95 will work so this is 95 enter and then ok mm, almost very close I wanted both the faces together uh, but that's alright this is now done now again uh, let's say I want to use like I made it I made many kind of fold I want to check uh, what will be my total sheet metal when it is flat how it looks so just click option flatten and click on the flatten all the folds will go away and everything will be unfolded definitely it takes time because you need to work and look now how it looks so in this case here you can really see like you need to take a piece of sheet metal like this you need to cut it from like this and then directly you need to fold it very simple very easy no need to make like first make this much and then fold it from here and then do that nothing just home uh, just from the dimensions smart dimensions will come to know the dimensions and then you can start cutting the edges you can start cutting all these things and then after uh, putting some uh, folded guides or cows over here you can directly start folding it and your box will be ready so this is a very good option yeah. now again I want to see like you, how my part looks when it unfolded so again click on the flatten done look this is my actual part which is how it looks and 
I shown you the base flange initially the edge flange these are the edge flanges the melt of flange this melt of flange the section then the corners corners how to fill the corners basically and then the unfold fold and flatten options in sheet metal now let's say if I want to carry this thing to 2d drawing how it will look so you need to do like just click file and then make drawing from part you click it show save the file okay save and insert part 3 save when I click part 3 save it shows draw okay and then it takes us to the 2d drawing sheet and now my 2d drawing sheet will open and how to use the 2d drawing for sheet metal I will show you because for the normal parts the normal solids or normal surfaces it's same like top view front view side view but for sheet metal it's a bit different yeah it, it will be always a bit different here you will select the isometric view from this so it is over here click here and just directly drag it don't double click don't do anything just directly drag it and you drag it over here somewhere look it shows Mm, the isometric view that's all right and I need to make it okay I can make also this thing colorful or anything that's okay now what I want to do is I want to use the model view so here you need to click on the model view and what you need to do is you need to select this tick this is very important it is called as next yeah so this is already selected and now next because unless you select this there won't be a right tick so when you select this thing and what you need to do is here it will show something but what is this and what you want I want because this is sheet metal I want this flattened part A yeah this is my flattened part but this is a bit smaller according to me so to make it bigger what I need to do is I need to use the custom scale this is 1.5 this is 1.5 but I don't want 1.5 let's say I want 1.2 because the second option is 1.2 but 1.2 is very big so here what you need to do is you can see the user defined one which is user defined and you can make it 1.3 at least and this is 1.3 yes I want it 1.3 it fits my page click here when you click here look now it shows this the tick and here it shows many things but this shows my flattened part and when I make it ok look this is done now this is my isometric and this is my flattened part so this is very necessary in case of sheet metals I definitely you can go for top view front view side view but at the same time if you make this thing is it would be very easy to read understand the curvatures the drawings everything now about the annotations so do like this when you click do like this all the annotations are selected and then you can use the font so untick this when you untick you can see the font this is 24 font so I don't want it 24 points make it less make it just 14 yeah you can select the font style and the different fonts make it ok this is 14 yes 14 is a bit smaller yes I want it smaller because I can read small that's ok and now for now make it ok and what you need to do is like you know there are some mixing things so I will zoom in and I will take it out look everything is moving control Z so what you need to do is in this case I'll move up here I'll move down here somewhere again I will take this up here again I will make this over here again I will take out this I'll segregate everything like this yeah so now it looks good like this 
and down should be here like this this should be here yeah now it looks much much better and this is I'll keep it over here yeah now is this better yes it is much better now when you segregated this what you need to do is you need to select the leader line when you select the leader line and you select this option or you can select this and like this it should show the leader line yeah look this is it shows my leader line now I sh will show like wh where is my down I'll select the down and this line now again annotations this is uh, how I selected my leader line again my leader line look now automatically it shows all the leader lines getting me just select everything select the lines move your mouse and make it okay now all the leader lines are selected that's okay now just you need to arrange it what is what what is where because if this is intersecting look, this is over here so you can make it over here this is clashing with this so you can make it over here this should be here somewhere it looks good if it is parallel just a bit over here look this is good and here again the same thing can be done this is you can make it a bit inside yeah over here and this is you can make it outside now does this thing look good than before this is up so if this is up you can make it up make it like this or make it like this yeah that's fine somewhere here straight okay and this is also up it can be done from here somewhere like this let's say this up should be a bit angle it looks great if it is at some angle yeah and rest of the lines according to me looks this there is some lot of lines over here that's okay if i want to delete this click here and delete could be none none can be deleted it shows this is hyperlink and there are many options over here and apart from this leader line you can also select such kind of lines so that is good if you select that kind of lines which are called as generally in drawings we use this leader left yeah and there are borders and many things when you zoom out click here now you can easily understand definitely I have not used smart dimensions here sketch smart dimensions I could have used smart dimensions this point and this point okay it says select two points this is one point it shows my smart dimensions now this point and this point it shows 66.31 yeah it shows the rapid dimensioning and many things but these two are important for me so for now i will do only this thing so this is how my sheet metal 2d drawings are <coughs> and uh, i taught you in sheet metal about these features and this is how my part looks and the remaining parts there are some few points which will be taught in the next clip and this is say this is how i made my 2d drawing in sheet metal thank you